Why do I love recessions? Why do I love recessions? <clears throat> Number one, which is the most obvious, which is assets are at a deep, deep, deep discount, okay? Number two, it flushes the competition, the weaker hand, okay? But not always in America because we have two, the two big to fail companies like bankers and big corporations that we continue to bail out because they don't make good products, okay? Or services or debt instruments. So one reason I love recessions and depressions is because assets become extremely cheap real estate stocks whatever your tickles your boat number two the weaker hand there's so much competition they all go away number three creativity becomes king what do i mean well for example in the real estate investing world homeowners are willing to just let you take over their payments or do a lease option or some creative master lease more than before because they're hurting they're they're in a motivated situation maybe they're hurting emotionally because they just got laid off or they're hurting financially because you know they lost their jobs because corporations were buying their stocks back okay <clears throat> so Creativity becomes king unlike cash. So creativity becomes king unlike cash. And this is where wealth can be made with very small amount of money or even no money if you're willing to put a lot of sweat equity in. Now, in a, this is what makes America great because there's multiple ways to make money. You can have money to make money or you can do sweat equity to make money or you can have great ideas with great implementation which is sweat equity to make money, okay? Uh, which is the, basically the two ways to make money. Um, and so you don't just need money. So, in, for example, in, 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 in this meltdown in 2019 and going further, there's going to be a tsunami of motivated sellers. This is just my opinion, not financial advice. that are going to default for diff different reasons. J corporations, layoffs, corporate buybacks of stocks that didn't really enhance the business or their services it's gonna have massive layoffs that stock popping real estate dropping in values many people that bought homes were gonna decide they're gonna stop making payments because they have negative equity in their homes and so on and therefore it's gonna create a panic a disaster that the central bankers want so they could buy properties on pennies on the dollar and I'm I just learned the game and I'm applying it um, now this is not something that I want to happen but it's, it's, I'm just a little guy I'm the refugee to America I can't control these things okay there's powerful forces at play and my only job is to learn the game so I'm not uh, a work slave I'm, I don't have to work in a cubicle I don't have to work for people so as an entrepreneur has allowed me to instead of hustle is to create right Instead of work, is to live. Instead of, you know, paychecks, to dream. So that's the cool thing. That's why I do this channel, because I want you guys to be your dreams, whatever it is. I'm, I'm not giving you financial advice, but I am believing in you, right? I'm believing in you, and, and these are just my opinions that, you know. And I'm explaining to you guys what I'm doing in my life, my opinion. So a couple of reasons I love recessions is... One, everything's gonna be at a deep discount. For example, I wanna buy some Tesla stocks, right? But it's been up. When it comes really, really down, I'm gonna get some. Maybe some Apple stocks, okay? I've never bought stocks before, but when they go from this high and they come to this price, I mean, it doesn't take a genius to realize that, hey man, it might be a good idea to get some, even if I don't know shit about the business, stock business in a sense, okay? Um, if real estate pops and people start selling their home at a significant discount well then it makes sense for me to get, to get into the business because I could buy it at a deep discount or if they're not willing to sell it at a deep discount um, to what 
take over their payments, man. I have the seller finance me. And there's going to be so many motivated sellers, so much inventory that people are going to be more motivated. That's why creativity is the king in a recession, uh, unlike cash, because cash is what got us into this hole in the first place, okay? Uh, for you guys that are wondering what I'm doing, I'm out. Today is Wednesday, I believe. I lose count of the days, you know, because I don't have a job. I don't work for anyone. And it's so... Uh, I, I, I live a dream life, man. I get to pick when I want to work, which is very, very little now. Uh, who I want to work with, what kind of, what kind of creativity I want to do. And, and it's just amazing. I mean, I've always been that way since high school. Never had a job. But I had big businesses with people a lot of people working on it me right and I realized that you know for me that's not for me I, what I want to do is live versus hustle I don't want to hustle anymore hustling for what for paper some fake paper right now I understand that you know we need to trade some type of currency for our food and services and I'm okay with that but I'm not gonna work and hustle to get 10 locations or 50 locations and because when I die <laughs> I didn't get to experience anything because I was just trying to grow and get more and more cabbage or paper or whatever, Bitcoin, whatever, you know, it's like there's an amount. And for me, at this point in my life, work has to be something that I really, really love to do and it empowers people. And that's why I do these videos for you because in that short period of time of a recession, I'll make more money than like 10 years of work so that's the key the key is to know when to act to have patience to not follow the crowd not believe the propaganda not believe the news not believe the tv to think for yourself i encourage you guys to think for yourself i encourage you guys to be your dreams i encourage you guys that you don't need prerequisites to be your dreams it's only your thoughts if you're just aware Okay. One of the reasons I like to come do these activities because in that one hour a week or two hours a week that I may work, in that time I could focus my energy significantly, my creativity, because I've been present every other day or every day by doing activities with my family, going and doing what I want to do. So that time that I sit down to produce, I'm not in some autopilot. I'm not in some, some conscious, subconscious level where, you know, it's just that propaganda fed to me since I was a kid. Right? I'm in the, my actual awareness, just like if I'm bicycling because or I'm in the nature hiking or I'm spending I'm watching my kid when I'm playing at the playground. I'm actually paying attention to her and I'm just focused what I'm doing versus in the past or future or any of that stuff. I'm just present and that's the key for creation and that's the key for creativity. And that's why when you res wrestle or you run or, or you do activities, you know, you can be so awesome and enjoy it so much because you're really there you breathe you, you notice every breath and so now that i work so much less this when i sit down i can create right i can create which is for such a small amount of time i can put all my energy into it and i can produce more than i could produce if i work eight hours a day seven days a week and i've done that right i've done that so many years since college uh, every day hustle to start the first business and then first business have one location two locations three locations and then the next business and then, then the next business the next business and the rental houses and you know uh, and, and, and at one point I really loved it right um, but at one point it became autopilot where subconsciously I was doing it and I wasn't even aware that I wasn't present in what I was doing and then it became you know one word slavery I guess um, and because routine is slavery. Uh, if you, if you want to live, you have to be present, okay? You, you, you don't want to be in that subconscious level of doing stuff because it doesn't matter if you're in a relationship, it doesn't matter if you're doing a business, it doesn't matter if you're spending time with your kids, if you're in autopilot, then you miss the moment of life, okay? And I think that's the most important thing, not just stacking paper or stacking material things because uh, letting go of all my stuff and just wearing the same exact clothes all the time has helped me realize that material things are just like uh, an illusion and we're an illusion ourselves. Peace, man.